Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about CMOS2 input NOR gate. So, complementary metal oxide semiconductor design for designing a 2 input NOR gate. So, as I started in the previous video, CMOS is nothing but complementary metal oxide semiconductor. CMOS is nothing but complementary metal oxide semiconductor. So, CMOS is not a device, it consists of two transistors, a PMOS transistor followed by NMOS transistors. The combination of CMOS and NMOS is nothing but a CMOS realization. CMOS realization. So, we know the symbolic representation. There are generally three to four representations of the PMOS and NMOS, but we generally follow one type of representation. And remember at the thing, when you are working on any layout tools, uh, like uh, mentor graphics, synopsis, uh, microvin, or any type of uh, cadence tools, then you have to take the fourth substrate terminal also into consideration because we have to apply some bulk potential either VDD to PMOS transistors or 0 to NMOS transistors. So, for that purpose, we have to definitely consider the bulk uh, terminal also, substrate terminal also. That is the here. Okay. Here we have bulk terminal. I, in the remaining cases, when you just want to draw any logic circuits, then this type of three terminal device is sufficient to show of the PMOS and NMOS transistors. So PMOS transistor should be differentiated from the NMOS transistor by just showing a bubble. By just showing a bubble at the gate terminal. At the gate terminal. Okay. This is the drain terminal. This is source, gate, drain and source. This is the symbolic representation of the NMOS and PMOS transistors. Now, CMOS realization always consisting of a pull-up network in the uh, in between VDD and output and a pull-down network between output and output and ground. Okay. So, pull-up network, how many number of transistors we are using in the pull-up network? is equal to the number of transistors you have to use in the and pull down network pull up network is made up of pmos transistors and pull down network is made up of nmos transistors okay don't forget pull up network is made up of pmos transistors pmos transistors so pull up pull up take p here take p here pull up pull down take n here down and take nmos n so up means always pmos down means always nmos okay so pull up network is made up of pmos transistors pull down network is made up of nmos transistors number of inputs is equal to number of transistors in the pull up and number of transistors in the pull down so number of transistors how many we are connecting in the pmos is equal to the number of transistors in the pull down that many number of transistors, how many we should consider is equal to the number of inputs. Okay. And the realization, as I said, PMOS transistors is equal to number of NMOS transistors. So, how to construct when you are having two or more PMOS transistors or two or more NMOS transistors? So, if the realization consisting of dot product A dot B, A dot B, then for two PMOS transistors and two NMOS transistors, I am saying, so product transistors, if the product, if the realization is a product, then the PMOS transistors should be connected in parallel. If we remember just about the PMOS, NMOS transistor is nothing but opposite case, series. Okay. If it is plus realization, two, must, uh, two PMOS transistors and for two NMOS transistors, it is PMOS transistor. See, check whether this uh, formula is applicable here or not. Product realization. Is this product realization? No. So, PMOS transistor should be connect, should not be connected in parallel. So, it is in series. And coming to the NMOS, NMOS is simply parallel. Okay. So, the product and plus realization should be connected in such a way what I have mentioned here. Now, coming to the main uh, topic, CMOS 2 input, CMOS 2 input, NOR gate. 
we must do in both nor gate so the previous two slides are very very important in the schema circuit design that's why i just wanted to wanted to recall the two lines okay coming to the two input nor gate nor is nothing but we know r followed by not r followed by not gate so a b and y see always whenever we study about the cmos logic circuits first and foremost two gates uh, first gate is cmos inverter first gate is cmos inverter first gate is cmos inverter next we go for cmos nand gate and then we go for cmos nor gate okay this is generally these are the three general gates we follow in the cmos logic circuits first and foremost gates inverter nand gate and nor gate normally when we study about logic circuits in the digital electronics the basic components are and gate or gate not gate but here the case is reverse completely we study about the not gates first uh, complemented gates first and then two form gates because in the complementary metal oxide semiconductor the basic structure itself gives you the complemented action okay that's why we study about we study about the complemented gates first and then we go for the normal gates okay once the cmos circuit uh, nand cmos nand gate is constructed the output cmos see uh, as i said here let us consider cmos nor gate is ready cmos nor gate is ready then what to do in the design of suppose i want to design or gate i want to design or gate then what to do cmos nor gate cmos nor gate followed by cmos not gate okay so first you have to construct nor gate followed by not gate then it gives you then it gives you or gate this is a plus b here it is a plus b bar okay there is no direct realization in the cmos structure direct or gate is not available first foremost thing is we have to go for the complemented gate and then and then inverter in the nand realization also same nand followed by not gate gives you the and gate okay so that's why in the complementary metal oxide semiconductor logic circuit design the first gates are inverter nand gate and nor gate these are the main three gates okay because see, nand gate and nor gate are universal gates as the nand gates and nor gates are universal gates you can design any type of logic gates using them okay that is also another reason now coming to our two input nor gate two input nor gate so two inputs two pmos transistors and two nmos transistors two pmos transistors it is y equal to a plus b whole bar y equal to a plus b whole bar so pmos transistors should be as it is plus realization they should be connected in series they should be connected in series as the pmos transistors are connected in series nmos transistors should be connected in parallel and most transistors should be connected in parallel so pmos transistor should be connected between vdd and output y is equal to a plus b bar it is bubble to show it is a pmos transistor a and b it is a it is b okay it is pmos transistor pmos transistor this is nmos transistor and it is nmos transistor okay so pmos transistors are connected in series so that nmos transistors are connected in parallel opposite case now if you want to analyze this particular logic circuit in terms of parasitic extraction then a capacitance is existed here and a capacitance is existed here again bulk region we will consider there also one capacitance here also we have one more capacitance from b terminal to this drain terminal 
and again from the bulk potential to output to bulk to this drain terminal and in the bottom part also same for the enmos transistor so all such parasitic extracted capacitors are connected and shown in a single capacitance which, which is nothing but which is nothing but a load capacitance which is connected between output and ground that is a lumped capacitance see load which is a lumped of all individual parasitic extractions where c load is the total lumped capacitance of all parasitic capacitors present in the circuit okay thank you